welcome to the River Dove. Today we're going to be covering shallow water chub fishing on the float, one of my favourite methods and I'm going to run through any sort of tips and all my tactics that can hopefully put more fish on the bank for you guys. Right, the tackle I'll be using today is the 12 foot glide. There's two reasons I use this. It, it's, it's balanced with my 3000 round. It's powerful, should I hook any big chub? We're in, we're in fast flow today, and the, the chub will hold in the current, so you need enough backbone to be able to turn them into the slower water to bring them in. And also, there's a chance of hooking the odd barbel. I want something that's capable of, of landing both. Um, I've coupled that with six pound reel line. Again, strong enough to land both. Really simple fishing with these, the new specy sticks. They're shorter in the wire. They've got a, they've got a thicker wire to help the, the float balance with a, a very visible top for, for long runs. But I like them for shallow water because of how, sh how shallow the stem is, how short the stem is. There's no sort of intrusion from the, the shiny alloy. It's well out the way. Great for shallow water fishing. That's a four gram, so I'll just couple that with a four gram olivet, held in, in place with the shot. You don't need the, the, the shot because the olivet's just pushed onto a quick change swivel for the hook link. Just a little bit of rubber pushes over the hook. And then for the hook link, I've got 016 mono down to a, down to a 16 hook. Now my, my bait of choice will be either double caster or a piece of sweet corn. I think sweet corn gets a quick bite. It's also a good change bait towards the end of the session. If you've been feeding hemp and castor all day with, a, with the odd grain of corn in, those fish have got sort of a, a free, free food offering in the corn and quite often picks the bigger fish out. Now, one of the reasons I fish shallow water, such as this at this time of year, there's, there's plenty of oxygen. Those fish, they've just spawned, the water's warm, they're looking for comfort and they'll happily sit in anywhere between 18 inches and three foot of water. It's where they want to be. A lot of the time you can see upstream, there's quite a few rafts of weed. Those fish will just nestle between the weed and sit there happy, happy and hopefully ready to feed. There's my run. And what I'll do is I'll feed in two lines. I'll feed straight in front of me and one slightly upstream. So then when I feed the float behind the tree, it's in theory running down on top of the bait. So I'll feed once straight in front and then a second one a rod length upstream. So then when I cast in, I'll, I'll have a dummy cast just, just to show. So I'll do that again. So once in front, once upstream. So as that bait's coming down, I'll flick the float in, and that should in theory be running along with the bait. Hopefully. You're always more likely to um, to pick up a fish as you as you as you're going down with your loose offerings. The fish are coming out from the cover, eating all the freebies. If, it's, if, you, if your bait's on its own, it can be a bit... It gives the fish chance to, uh, to suss it out. But if they're, uh, if they're feeding on all the loose offerings as well, then they're much more, uh, much more easy to, to fall into picking your bait up. So, before I have a proper run through, I'll feed the swim for 15 to, to 20 minutes this time of year. Try and, the fish are, are hungry, so they'll be coming to the bait pretty quickly, but the time is to, um, to increase their confidence. So they get really, they throw all caution to the wind. That's, you, you can sort of catch more fish in the shoal that way. There's that, so many small items, they just, they just keep eating, eating and eating. 
and uh, it's a great technique for sort of chub and barbel and this shallow water fishing at this time of year it's, it's where all the oxygen is you can see there's cover from the trees there's cover from the weed there's there's, there's almost certainly fish living here and um, these these new speci stick floats they're uh, they're a thicker wire so they're really stable but they're I like them because they're, they're shorter. You can see, you can see from my hand there how much shorter they are. So shallow water, you haven't got like a big cumbersome wire sticking through, like through the water, showing itself to the fish. An olivet. That's actually a four gram, but I've I've shotted that olivet a little bit more, just for a bit more sensitivity. If if it was really fast water, I'd probably have maybe three and a half gram on a four, four gram, I'd probably go up in size to be fair, I'd probably fish a five gram olivet on a six gram float to try and stop the float from being dragged under in the broil. And, um, and the, the, the float acts as sort of a, a shock absorber, or well, not shock absorber, like resistance, so the hook, the fish hook themselves against the weight of the float. A lot of the time I'll be running down on a tight line, holding back, and um, you think you trip bottom and you go to mend the line, and all of a sudden the rod just hoops over like you're quiver tipping. Great fun. fish on that's a good fish that is that feels a better one that. yeah look at that job so see the corn in the corner of his mouth What great fun. Stood warm water, so I haven't even bothered with my chesties today. Float rod. Absolutely love it. Look at him there, cheeky chub. He's a good one as well. Take him by hand. If I can, oh, he's a, good, he's a really good one. Going to the net, that one. It's a, it's a bit bigger than I thought. <laughs> Stood, uh, stood in the river, warm water. The chub's trying to use, use me as a snag. <laughs> Loads of food in his mouth. Who wouldn't like a day's fishing like that on the float? Shallow water, float fishing. Great fun. I chucked that upstream just to see if um, he was sitting on where the bait was landing. Shallowed up, chucked upstream to where the bait was landing and a bonus fish that is. Another beautiful dove chub. And, and I've caught a minnow while I was while I was waiting. The smallest minnow in the world. That was the first one when we found the fish at last. 
and the sign that there was a few more here. I think that's five chub in sort of half an hour's fishing. The initial time spent feeding the swim first really gets the, the whole shoal confident. So I, if I'd have gone in too early, I would have probably caught one, maybe two, before they spooked. And then uh, we keep continuously feeding without catching any of them. They all just throw caution to the wind and they're just looking for the, that, that hemp and caster and that sweet corn coming down the river. They're on it. You can almost catch the shoal. Great fun. That's the biggest so far. Would probably say he's, he's nudging five pound. Might be four and a half. Very thick set chub. Oh, bit of chub juggling. But he's, yeah, he's, he's close to five pound. If he's not now, he, he certainly will become late autumn. Lovely fish. The colours on these dove chub, they're just beautiful. So they're getting so deep in their frame and so dark. Loving that, that hemp and castor coming through them in that shallow water. Plenty of oxygen this time of year. So many fish stay around that shallow water. It's comfortable for them to sit in. And, and usually some cover, whether it be from weed or you can see trees on the far side. Even the riffle on the water gives them some sort of cover. But what a beautiful fish. Look at that beautiful chunk. So deep. 